That is not good at all. I'm not going to be touching that now. Just getting deeper and deeper. Come on, Jack, and get out of here. So, we've got an issue. And oh my God, you're not going to want to miss this. So picture the scene, I'm there at another customer's house and one of my regulars pulls up alongside and went, hey, Mike, I've got a bit of a problem. And uh, the problem is I get electrocuted every time I go in the shower. I'm like, no, what are you on about? So I have just done just that, come out and checked out his shower. And oh my God, you're not gonna wanna miss this. So we're now in the said shower. Um, so it's a very nice install. It's not done by us, but it's a very nice install nonetheless. So the story goes, from time to time, they're in here, and there's a seat just this side and a seat that side. From time to time, they get an electric shock, and they thought, oh, is, it, is this actually happening, or is it just that I've pinched myself, or whatever? So they weren't quite sure. Well, I was like, okay, are you sure this is actually happening? But that's fine, I've got some time, I'll pop round. They are good customers and we'll check it out. They've also got a cleaner and the cleaner has also said, oh, they've had a little bit of a bit of an electric shock, but as you'd have thought, there's nothing in here. Well, check this. So we've got our voltage indicator. I'm gonna pass you over to Jack. He's gonna be my cameraman right now. So, we're just gonna prove that the voltage indicator is working by using said proving unit. Okay, so we are good to go. So we know we've got a, a decent bit of kit that's all working. And in here, we've now got our seat. And now I'm reading 167 volts. So, we've got an issue. So, if we touch that on there, you can now see we've got 167 volts. And then we've got eight, eight volts on this side and all the rest of it. So, you may think, what on earth is going on? And that's exactly what I was thinking. I thought, well, I'm not gonna be touching that now, am I? Because that would be a problem. So, I've just come into the bedroom and I have got a TV on the wall when Jack goes, oh, there's a single socket here. So, okay, so it's far enough away. So now that comes along there, and how's that powered up? Aha, we've got a socket here. So, what I'm trying to figure out, what I think has happened, is we're gonna first find out what circuit it's actually connected to. So we're gonna go down there. So Jack knows where the board is. We've, luckily enough, we've got Jack. Um, so Jack knows where the board is, and we're gonna go through and try and figure out what circuit it is. And I know the board's good. The board has all been tested, so it's all okay. So Jack, do you mind going downstairs, and I'll give you a call again, Sorry. and we'll try and figure out what's going on. Okay, so Jack is at the board. So we're gonna have that on there. Okay, mate, so if you can do the upstairs sockets for me. Yeah, that's Okay, mate, and that's gone out. So that is somehow connected to the upstairs sockets. So we're gonna go and pull that other one off that's in the bedroom. So we'll take that socket off in here, and hopefully we can figure out that that's a spur that leads through from there to upstairs. So we'll take that front off um, and hopefully I can disconnect that outgoing leg and hopefully isolate the problem. So me and Jack have now just lifted off the uh, TV, that's gone, stripped out the socket. Now you can see the cables clearly go straight down the wall. So Jack has measured from there to the end of the wall, which was what Jack? 900. 900 mil. Um, so, if we grab the tape again, come on Jack, come on Jack. So, if you hold that roughly in line with the wall, and guess what? We've got 900 to the centre of this, there or thereabouts. So, we've then just gone, okay, let's 
get the wandering lead out, which is uh, this, if you don't know what the wandering lead is, so it's just an extendable cable. Jack's then clipped it onto the live uh, on that socket, and then we're just going to do continuity. And here we go. So we've now got continuity between here and that live cable. So that's not good. That is not good at all. Um, so a little bit further investigation is required. The problem is you've got that radiator just there. Um, so the spur, what I thought it was, um, I was hoping that that socket was a spur straight off, but it's not. It looks like someone has extended the ring somewhere. So I was hoping that that would be a spur straight off and then coming straight up to there, but it's not. I've just got two cables in and two cables in at the top. So I would say that the there's a junction box underneath here or here or something. So potentially that needs to come up. Um, yeah, so it's just, just getting deeper and deeper uh, into a issue. Hey ho. Okay, so I think, I was just saying to Jack, and uh, we're gonna have to lift that floor up, I think, and try and find where that's joint, joined into it. Right, okay. We haven't got long here either. This is like I say, we just dropped in unannounced. So if we can make it safe, then we are winning, Jack. So let's uh, lift that floor up as quickly as possible. So we just pulled the carpet back and we've realised that the flooring's not been cut. So all the floor is kind of intact, which doesn't mean that it's not been done here. It might've been done on that, on, on that side of things. So what I've then done, I've just got Jack to hold on the probe on the other side while I've basically just wiggled all the cables, held this tight, but wiggled this end and the readings are bouncing around like a good one. So I've got no insulation in here. So what I'm now doing, Jack's doing me a favour and he's gone down to the van and he's gone to grab the super rods. Now in my kit of the super rod stuff, I've got a camera. So we're going to hopefully, I'm going to run the camera down um, and see if I can see anything obvious down that way. Because obviously I've got a radiator and all sorts of stuff going on uh, down there. As you can see, the rad there and yeah, it just becomes more and more of a headache. So. Fingers crossed I can get a confirmed viewing for the fixings coming through that has pierced the cable and then we know for definite we're gonna to have to do something about it. So you can see on here, you've got our cables coming down. Um, ooh, okay, let me see if I can, obviously I've got batten. Yeah, let's try and get that a bit lower score all the ceiling and that. Whoa, see that cape, that screw there? Uh, oh. There's a screw on on there. It's going straight into the cable. It's going straight in and I think that one just there, there's a bit of a bulge in that and I think that's what the issue is. Wow, look at that. So I would say that I bet you, this, because on that seat, there'll be a prong here and a fixing the next one down. And I bet it's the next one down that's really got it. So yeah, so I think what we'll have to do is sort of gauge. Oh, it's not really that low, but I think that's probably been pierced in a few places that by all accounts, because that's, oh look, even better view of it. So that is probably in court by a bit of batten that's been shoved in. So yeah, it's not good either way. So I think I'm gonna to have to lift up this floor, looking at this, because um, a bit of timber's been put in. Not even that low. Oh. Yeah, not great. So, absolute nightmare. So yeah, I think it's time to, Cut that floor up, I'd say, and try and isolate all that off. Fantastic. So what I'm gonna do, we now know that cable's coming down here. Um, I'm gonna cut a hole 
in the floor with the oscillator. Yeah, we'll make sure we've got some timber actually to repair it before I do it too much. Um, but yeah, and then we'll try and ask, try and make that safe. Uh, that's all I can do for today. Okay, so we have made progress. Uh, well, I say progress. I mean, we've stripped the room and not made and gone backwards. So we have got a hole in the floor, which is great. Um, so once we've cut that hole in, we then discovered that no, there's no junction box, no nothing down there. So that's led to some drastic measures. Bosh. So <laughs> yeah, it's left me with no choice other than to um, yeah try and fathom this lot out. So when I first took the panel off, I actually think it. Oh my God, it's not actually hit there, but it's okay. So you can just see, see that screw there? That has gone into the, into the cable right there. So I now need to fix that. And I think also, like I said, up, up there, it's punctured uh, the wiring up the top there so as well. So, so yeah, so I'm gonna have to take that wire out. Uh, we'll get some Wagos in and, and basically try and patch repair this absolute masterpiece. So I've just ripped that out there and you can clearly see that it's pierced that, uh, that cable. So effectively what we've had in the shower is um, an electric chair. I mean, you can't make this up. It's literally that is an electric chair. My God, how, how, how lucky, how lucky, I can't stress how lucky this customer is. Oh my God, absolute madness. So now I'm gonna to have to repair that. Uh, yeah, I've gotta repair it anyway. So, but yeah, I mean, I, I just can't get over that. Uh, you know when you part of your mind you think is this is this is it? it's got to be everything in your head screaming it's got to be it's got to be it's got to be well there you go it is a death trap okay so with the removal of that cable from the um the screw we're still connected to the socket which obviously is at the top and now we're just going to do our continuity just so you can just verify that I have no longer got any continuity with the electric chair. So now we have got our maintenance free con uh, connectors on there. So they're all sorted. We've used him some heat shrink and stuff. So Jack is now doing the patch repairs. That's what we've got to do. I'm going to put the socket back on. Um, I've managed to pull the cables up and down freely, tested them, they're okay. Um, so yeah, wow, what a lucky escape. So we've got to just fix the floor, patch repair, get the carpet down and get out of here. So like I say, if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, I mean, come on, what are you doing? So we are a real world channel that shows you absolutely everything from the start to finish on every single job and sharing hints and tips along the way. And uh, yeah, so link is in the corner, turn notifications on. We drop a video every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. every week. And sometimes you'll get a bonus episode, just depends on uh, how fruity I'm feeling. So we have now just put the telly back on. We have done our patch repair, as you can probably just about see. Um, so obviously it needs sanding down and a bit of TLC. Jack's just putting all the stuff back in, carpet's back down, floor is all fixed. So I suppose the moment of truth is just, just to make sure that we are all good in the electric chair. So if you remember right at the start of the video, as soon as we touched on here and between our shower, we had 160, 90 odd volts, whatever it was. And uh, you'll be pleased to know Oh, as it should be, we've got nothing there. So we have now made this installation safe again. And I'm genuinely blown away on how much of a lucky escape they've had. Um, I mean, it just literally an electric chair. So uh, yes, on that note, 
Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do. Uh, link is in the corner, as always. Turn your notifications on, and we will show you how we go about fixing things like this that comes up, because I generally get some weird and wonderful jobs, uh, in fairness. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much. Really appreciate it, and we shall see you on the next one.